I've loved craft since I was a kid. Not only when I was working with my head and my hands, but also when I was surfing, sculpting lines in the waves, or running with the ball at my feet, or cycling, flowing with matter and nature, just letting myself go without any kind of fear. Just being and always trying to keep the smile on my face. The smile I've tried to keep and always wanted to share. I have the feeling that I never understood if perfection exists. I believe I prefer to see it as a utopia. I think it depends on the moment and I want to believe that what is inspiring me is a touch of magic. A touch of magic that we find and learn on the way if we keep most of the time focused on harmony. Harmony and beauty. That's what it's all about. I would love to see talented craftsmen sharing their knowledge. Not exactly with everyone, but with those who are truly interested and yearning for answers. Sharing knowledge with us younger generations, it's fundamental to preserve an important part of the cultural legacy that we'll soon have in our own hands. And it will also allow curious masters of today to learn and to understand what our generation is perceiving in life and how the future of crafts will be. We have been using our brains in ways that lack touch. A certain type of touch that is more fluid and organic, slow and precise. Technology must allow us to be more interconnected to tri-dimensionality. To actions with different types of rhythms, different touch and movements that we need so much. And where we might find the sustainable path for crafts and syntony with what is for us now the modern world. Crafts bring us back to making. That means to touch things, to feel things differently and thinking differently, more emphatic with nature, the resources we use and the systems that they and we are a part of. This is all a very important factor for cognitive development, especially because crafts create an emotional experience. 
And it's proven that when there is emotion involved in the learning process, there is more cognitive development that in the end can only bring more balance, more mindfulness, more present, more focus, and in the end, more health.